Hey everyone, thanks for stopping in and tuning in for another video. Uh, first of all, I apologize if I got a little noise in the background. I've got my heat running, so the furnace might be making a little bit of noise. I apologize about that. But uh, you can see I've got a, a Candy Gold K0 on the table. That's going to be our next project. Uh, thought maybe I'd go ahead and do a little walk around before we uh, tear into it. I think this video, I'm going to completely disassemble this bike. I haven't painted one in a while. I think maybe it's time we paint a bike. Uh, probably just go back with a candy gold or, or similar color and uh, keep it that way. This bike already has a aftermarket engine in it that I don't know anything about. Uh, I'm probably gonna go with one of my new Life and Clone engines uh, and put in it so I, I know I've got a good reliable engine but uh, it's already got an aftermarket exhaust. We may or may not use that. If we do, we'll try and clean it up, make it look a little bit better. The tires on this thing are tiny. 3.0 by 10s on the back. Oh my gosh, look at this. Look at the size of that dice. Uh, and it's a 250-10 on the front. Now this tire has air in it, but it almost doesn't look like it does. Look how much, look how far the rim sticks out past the tire. It's got an aftermarket, it must have a, a clone front fender on it. It's got a little lip on it. And the other thing I thought was interesting on this, uh, somebody's put a, you know, tried to put a wiring harness in it. Uh, I think. Yeah, the original harness is completely gone, and someone's done this. <laughs> but the thing I saw that I really liked, look at this. Man, I'm guessing this is probably an on-off for the headlights, maybe. And this is on-off for the ignition, or vice versa. I have no idea. I haven't looked at how it's wired or anything, but obviously we're going to get rid of that. Oh, they bent a piece of aluminum and used the hole where the brake lever bolts to bolt it to the handlebar. <laughs> Gotta love it. Ingenuity. <clears throat> Let's see, it's got uh, the speedometer, or the odometer, it says 2,513 miles. Like I said, it's a K0. Uh, where can I see it? What is it? You guys might not be able to see it. Uh, what is it? One of 71 build. It's not horrible. If the decals were in a little bit better shape, I might not even paint it. Um, but... This one's got some road rash and so forth. So I think, you know, we haven't painted a bike in a while, so I think we will. Looks like I've got some bent handlebars. Looks like somebody's grabbed them with something and tried to straighten them. So we'll probably put some new bars on it. But anyway, I'm just going to set the uh, camera up. It's a tripod up. And I guess probably just let it roll and... While I take this thing apart, and like I said, today's video is just going to be getting it, getting it all stripped down to the frame, and that would probably be about it. Oh, that one's tight. Sorry, I didn't have a ratchet prepared. I probably should have. While I'm over there, I better grab a 10 millimeter socket for all the other stuff I'm going to need. Oh yeah, that one was tight. Still has the plastic tank. Uh, I haven't even looked in it to see if it has anything in it. Hopefully it's not cracked or broke. 
All right, let's just make us a pile. Oh, hitting the hitting the foot lever. Tanks dry. Let's see. not working for me. I don't know what brand this engine is or even what size it is. It says 97 cc. So, I don't know what you call that. Usually the 110 say 9 or 107. So is it 100 cc? What you're going to call that engine? It uh doesn't have any markings on it. The little chrome covers and stuff remind me of an old Red Cat brand engine. It does have a shift lever over here, so it's not like a fully automatic like some of, some of them are. But it does not have a clutch, so it's semi-auto. I am impressed right here. They actually put the exhaust on the shirt on the shock rather than putting it out here on the post out here, so it makes the, ex the exhaust stick out real far. Um, some guys who use these aftermarket exhausts make that mistake. You know, they their bike had this because the stock exhaust uses a straight bracket right here. Well, the Chinese aftermarket exhaust, not only is the bracket set in farther, it's also got a little dog leg. That kicks. So if you put the exhaust on that, it, it just kicks the exhaust real far out away from the bike. Um, so this little dog leg is made you know, to go right up against the shock. So you don't have to do all that. And that copies the, the later model Trail 70s. Let's see.
does have all the brake parts here, which is good. Sometimes when they don't use a, a back, a rear brake cable, they do away, they get rid of some of this. But this piece is actually here, which the, the cable will hook to, which is good. <laughs> this engine, this engine has a rear fit fill for the oil, and so they had to bend up the, the little tang, the little tab there that holds the brake switch. So we'll have to straighten that out a little bit. All right, what do we got going on up here? Wow, they got great big dice on both wheels for the. Uh, what is that? Maybe a 12? That didn't even have a didn't even have a nut on the top one. That just fell right off. Let's see. <laughs> Apparently the threads are bad on the axle adjuster on this side. So they shimmed it with three nuts. Right there. <laughs> I'm guessing the threads are bad. shock off on that side that allows to get the chain off of the bike anyway can't get it the side case is still on there well, let's see let's go ahead and drop the engine oh what a mess oh my what a mess CDI just unplugged, or part of it anyway. Wow! Well, we need to get our <coughs> wiring harness removal tool here. they got a smaller nut on the bottom engine bolt, the 13, that's 13, do I grab the 12, do I have a 13 socket? It's a 
whole thing spinning on me? Not yet. Now it is. Yeah, we'll put a we'll put a new engine, new carburetor. We'll start fresh with some better stuff. I've got the uh, got the front end. The tires were so small that the uh, they wouldn't normally with the uh, four by ten tires. I don't need a strap to hold the bike down on the bike table. But with these little bitty tires, I had to put a strap so that the bike wouldn't fall over. And now that I've taken the weight off the back, it's kicking it all, kicking it all forward on me. Here we go. I'm going to raise it up too high. I don't know if you guys are going to be in camera. Oh, I've got such a mess here. I've lost my 10 millimeter. There it is. Rear fender doesn't look in bad shape. I think we can probably reuse it with a little cleaning up. We're gonna, we're gonna reuse as many parts as we can. Yeah, I'm gonna paint it and but that really doesn't change much. I'm, you know me, I'll still do it as cheaply as, as possible. I need a longer extension. did you use? Huh. Apparently they didn't put a apparently it's not a 10 millimeter.
might be 11. Original harness, still got the original engine plug. speedometer cable off of it. I should have spun the speedometer and made sure it was good. Well, we'll check it out later. The speedometer's had some road rash. All right, let me check and see what you guys are looking at. Make sure here at the front. All right. Huh, I've got some kind of little lights here. I don't know if these were turn signals that they were going to try and hook up. Uh, not that I'll ever use them, but I'll cut the wires a little bit longer on them in case I what wire is that one? That one right there. Yeah, it had some kind of little orange lights. Reflector on that side? No, we're missing the reflector. What do you think? Oh, that one come loose. Hot dog, that's nice. That's super nice. All right, can we go two for two? Yes. Looks like somebody has already hit them with some pliers. Somebody already messed them up, but that's all right. They'll be good enough. Let's see. That ain't it. That's not it. There it is. Holy cow. They are tight.
You know, let's take the headlight off just before we get. It's got a nylon lock wash or lock nut on it. What do they got on the inside? 13 also. Looks like it might be. Okay. I don't know if you're looking at the side there. You guys looking at the side badge? Yeah, you know, this one's this one's pretty faded. The decal's much much more faded on that side too, so it uh, sat up against a shed or a barn or something on that particular side and the sun has taken its toll on it. oh yeah be a completely different size but we were able to get it it wasn't tight enough okay It's missing, it's broken. The plastic, and there's, there's a captured nut that fits in there that when you put the headlight ring on and the screw goes, oh, that's a bummer. It's got a crack here too, but I've had good luck just JB welding that back up and reusing the headlight. So we we get into a later video before we paint, we'll, we'll look at that and see if that's gonna be, see what we can do to salvage that. Let's take this front tire off. Hey, what, can we get the fender off first? Nope, a little too tight. Mm hmm, what did I do with my, there it is. Oh, it must have one in the middle. There we go. Yeah, this fender must be off a Trail 70 clone. All right, let's take the, you guys looking down at the wheel. Let me back you up. Actually tilt it a little bit, that'd be good enough. Oh, new screwdriver. Sorry, I didn't have all the tools out. Well, good luck getting those out so far. They sometimes the uh, these axles don't really fight you. But obviously somebody's had these wheels off of here if they put those little bitty tires on there. So I don't know how how long ago. Somebody got them off of there. That tight. I actually have a tool for that. A socket that fits that but you know what it's in the other shop I'm not gonna walk take the time to walk back there and get it so don't do as I'm doing and use a pair of pliers okay before I take that off I think I'm gonna clean some of this up a little bit put a towel down because there are 21 little ball bearings at the top and 21 at the bottom. So 
Let me clean some of this up. I don't want those ball bearings to go <laughs> everywhere and not be able to find them. So uh, give me just a second. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get set up to do that. All right, so got a little bit of my mess cleaned up. I put down a, an old sweatshirt. Hopefully we can... I'll try and take the... Uh, I forgot to grab a magnet. I'll try and take the top ones out before we remove the forks. That way we don't drop them. And then all we have to do is try and locate the, the bottom ones when they scatter. Okay. Let's see. Let me find a, a magnet. And uh, let's, get, let's get a little plastic tray to put them in. There's three. Six. Nine. I mean, we're going to get, uh-oh, nine. Ten. Eleven, twelve. Thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. We only have 18. So they were, whoever had this apart probably lost a few of them and they were three short. <laughs> We've got plenty, that's okay. Now, let's see what happens when we take the well, I certainly hope there are some that are stuck up inside the, the neck because there is not very many on the fork here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we have ten here. Drop it. Okay, that's all of them there. There's one. Eleven. Eleven. There might have a few more. 12, 13, 14, 15, 19, none inside, so we should have 42 ball bearings, 21 top, 21 bottom, and uh, we are five short. We were three short on the top and two short on the bottom. So we got plenty of them, so that's not a big deal. Let's hope we get that lucky in this one. There again, someone's had them off because they are scarred up. Yep. Someone was here before us. There's residue of black electrical tape. Looks like they tried to to tape the, uh, the little gators up there at one point. Okay. And there we go.
if they replace the gators. They don't look in too bad a shape. I think we'll clean those up and reuse those. So unfortunately, I'm, I'm not probably going to disassemble the, the fork and the, and the springs here because the only reason I really need to do that was if I were going to replace the gators. But those, I think, can be cleaned up and used. So these units won't be cleaned up. Unfortunately, we're going to have to live with some scarring. As you can see, that's scarred up from where somebody's had a pair of pliers on that. But that's all right. We're not putting a really nice, fancy paint job on this anyway. It'll be a, a rattle can, you know, just like I, I normally do on the other bikes. We'll, we'll clean all this up. And... But guys, there we go. I don't know how long the time on that was. What time is it? About, what, 45 minutes or so? I don't know what the, the film time will be, but I think it took me about 45 minutes total. So we've got the bike down. I'll need to... Uh, take a heat gun and take the decals off still need to pull out the little plug there I guess forgot that uh, clean the frame up and so forth this is all the hardware we took off this is all the parts we took off you know the seats not the the right pattern for a k0 but uh, I think we're going to use it you know, we're not we'll use the the hubs and the rims well we'll use the hubs and the brake plates i've got plenty of rims and tires stacked up back here that we'll find some legitimate replacements and uh just leave those those tires on those rims for right now but anyway I think that's it for today. I'm going to pack it up, head home. Uh, appreciate you guys following along. Hope you enjoyed watching uh, the teardown. Stick with me. This will be a, a multi-part series. Uh, you know, we'll, when I come back here in a few days and film again, we'll probably work on getting everything that needs to be painted. Uh, i got to come up with a chain guard. It did not have a chain guard. I have to disassemble the shocks so that we can get the... Uh, the top cover off of the shocks we can paint those we have to take a look at that headlight so the next video will probably concentrate on getting things ready to paint so once again thanks appreciate you guys following along and i will see you on the next video